Brookins joins us now, and it is Mike Brookins' pick day of the week. You know what that means? we got to get outside. Good yeah, day to do it. I don't think there's a better <laughs> place to do it than right here at MBT <laughs> Bank Stadium because our Syracuse Mets taking on Scranton wilkes Bear, and we're talking temperatures above average today, folks. Now, I don't know if we're going to have a deep blue sky when they take the field at 635 this evening. Towards midday, sure, I think there's going to be some times when we're mostly sunny, and I think we do make 62 degrees. So heading into the parking lots, we should be around 60 degrees with a mix of sunshine and clouds. Some cloud cover around here and a partly sunny sky at first pitch, 59. That seventh inning stretch where they sing the song, partly cloudy, 54, 52 degrees. Now there'll be just a slight breeze, 5 to 10 miles per hour. So definitely you'll need the jacket. If you don't, when you come in, you will when you go out with 50s, uh, feeling a little bit more like the 40s by the end of the game. But go Mets. Hopefully you have a great season and started off with winning weather at least. We do have high pressure to our east that's kept us dry overnight. We've had some what's called Virga move through this warm front, and you can see that sprinkle not reaching the ground. It's just a batch of clouds that are moving on through. We're mostly cloudy to partly cloudy right now in central New York, and I think this next batch of rain fizzles out as well. Maybe as we heat up, the residual moisture could give a spotty sprinkle. For the most part, though, I think 99% of us completely dry for today. This band of rain, though, is with a warm front and a low-pressure system that does slide up tomorrow morning and affects the southern tier a lot more greatly than areas to the north that I think will be dry. But that's our real next threat for any rain. So we're pretty much dry for today. We're starting off partly sunny, a mix of sunshine and clouds here at 11 a.m. But I think towards noon and one o'clock, we're mostly sunny. We jump from the 30s to the 40s to the 50s and eventually lower 60s, doing a little bit better than this. Around four o'clock, we should do 62 degrees. But there you see the dry conditions for this evening settling back into the 40s during the evening. By tomorrow morning, that system to the south moves to the north. We get some rain showers around Syracuse and points south. If you're down around Norwich and Ithaca, it could be a soaking rain for your morning commute tomorrow. While there's some breaks of sun far to the north, north of Oswego up towards Watertown, you should be completely dry from this system that pulls away. We do get some partial sun at times for tomorrow. And while the winds are light early on, it does turn a bit breezy towards late day and especially tomorrow night. We'll find temperatures near 60 degrees tomorrow night. Some rain showers gather and then I think it's a wet one coming up on Thursday. Solid inch or even more of rain. There you see some of those deeper yellows, oranges and reds could be heavy at times. So it's pretty much a washout during the daytime. I think the rain could start to ease during the evening after the sun sets and it does improve slightly going into Friday and Saturday, but a very unsettled pattern is going to be moving in starting Wednesday night. So a lot of the next 36 hours are looking good. I don't think it gets any better than the midday and early afternoon today with light winds and 62 and dry conditions. Showers early and then again very late or towards the evening hours on Wednesday. Thursday, some soaking rain, 53, kind of raw with a slight breeze early on, especially showers Friday, and then we're cooler for the weekend. Scattered rain showers on Saturday, wet snow showers on Sunday morning. Probably not going to add up for most of us. Temperatures start near freezing, getting up to 46, and then we rebound nicely Monday. Abby.